Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raquel. So today I wanted to try this particular brow product out. I've been hearing quite a few things about it. And it's by the brand Salon Perfect. And I picked it up at Walmart for $4.88. And it's called the On Point Tri-Tip Brow Marker. Now what I thought was interesting about this particular brow product compared to other brow markers out there is that this one is supposed to mimic the effects of microblading. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, another thing it claims to do is that it's water and smudge proof and then it dries fast. So we're going to test that out today and see if it really holds up to that. Um, one thing that kind of stood, stood out to me at first about this product is that it only comes in two shades. So I picked up the darkest shade which is dark brown and then the other one was universal taupe. So um, I don't know that the word universal kind of scares me when it comes to makeup and especially pigments. So if anybody out there has tried this product and tried the Universal Taupe Shade, let me know down below if you thought it was really good, if you thought it was terrible. Let me know either way in the comment section. I really want to know what you, what you thought about this product. Also, while we're on that subject, if you guys could please subscribe to my channel. I will love you forever and ever. And please hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I have new videos coming out. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this review. Alright, so I went ahead and zoomed in so you guys can see. So this product does come with instructions. It says brush brow hairs upward with a spoolie end of brush. So this product actually doesn't come with a spoolie, so I'm just going to use my Benefit precisely my brow, and I'm just going to take the spoolie end and brush my hairs upward, like it says. Next it says lightly apply short strokes following the natural shape of your brow. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a little mirror here just so I can see a little bit better. I'm a little nervous, I'll be honest with you, just because brow markers are a little bit hard to control. So here goes. Okay, so it definitely creates like the natural little is trying to create a shape because I don't have much of a brow shape. The only thing that I find a little difficult with this product is that it it's really hard to create a shape with this. Um, especially for someone like me who has really sparse brows, it's just really hard to create any definition. Um, so I'm going to keep attempting to do so, but so far I'm just finding it really, really difficult. I'm also going to try and go on the top right here just to see if I can create more of a shape. I mean, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there and it's doing something. Um, there. I mean, I'm not mad at it. Um, honestly, I was expecting a little bit more pigment because I feel like it starts to dry out as you use it. One problem that I'm having so far with the pigment is that it comes out really strong at first and then it kind of dries out. So it makes it very, very patchy. And another thing is that this does dry quickly, like it says, um, but I'm afraid that it dries a little bit too quickly just because when you're trying to go back over that same spot, it just completely makes it patchy and I, I don't know. I'm gonna leave this brow alone because I feel like the, that's the best it's going to get. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this other brow now. One thing I will say about this brush, or that, about this pen, is that it really helps to create the natural brow hairs in the front of the brow. 
And that sometimes can be my struggle with other brow pens and brow markers is that it's way too prominent in the front. But this actually creates the most natural brow in the front I've ever tried. I know it doesn't look too great right now, I'll clean it up later, but I do like how it does make my the front of my brows look really, really natural. So I don't know if you can see that there. I know you guys are probably like, what are you talking about natural? Um, I'm gonna clean it up, but I just feel like personally, um, it's, it's doing something, especially for the front of my brows more than anything. I do have to leave the house, so I do want to make sure my brows are even, so I might have to go back over my brows with other products, but in the meantime, I just want to give my thoughts on this alone. You guys, I'm just going to leave my brows alone at this moment because they're starting to dry, and the more I go over them, they just get patchier and patchier. So the last step it says in the instructions is finish by blending with a spoolie. So I'm going to take my spoolie again and go over the brows and just see if this helps them look a little bit better. So it does. It definitely does. Again, I, I still feel like I need to apply more product or other products to my brows to finish them up. But um, just this product alone, I mean, I feel like it's a little bit difficult for me to say just because I have really sparse brows. But for someone who has thicker brows, this might be almost a perfect um, brow marker for you. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish my brows and I will be back to give my final thoughts on this product. Alright you guys, my final thoughts on this product. I definitely think that this is a great concept and a great idea. I do think that the formula could have been a little bit better. I know it's only $4.88, but I feel that um, it just it just really did not own up to what it said as far as creating that natural brow because it almost made it so patchy that it was everything but natural. So um, I really had to go over my brows again with other products. I did use my Anastasia uh, Brow Powder Duo and I also went over it with um, this other brow marker that I have which is by Makeup Forever and it's their brow liner and it's in the shade 50 which is black brown. So this comes in five shades and it retails for $23 at Sephora compared to the one I used today which was $4.88 and comes in two, two shades. So. It's kind of up to you on what you want to spend or what kind of quality you're looking for. Um, again, I feel like if you have thick brows, this might actually be perfect for you just because you're just going to do boom, boom, boom real, real fast on your brows and it's done. I mean, you really don't have to do much if you already have full brows. For someone who has sparse brows like me, I felt like this was really difficult to work with because I had to not only create the shade, but I had to fill them in. And because this, this dries really fast, I felt like it almost made it impossible for me to be able to do both at the same time. Does that make sense? It was just really hard for me to create a shape and also fill it in at the same time while it's drying. It was just way too much. So again, I think it's a great concept for $4.88. I say definitely give it a try. Um, another thing I will say about this is that the shades. Um, if it had more shade ranges, I think that would be way more beneficial to everybody out there. I feel like if you're not a brunette or you're not ash blonde, you're not going to be able to use this product. I feel like Universal Taupe is just so universal to me. I just really don't, I don't really know how that's going to work for everybody else out there. Um, but yeah, that kind of just wraps up this review. I hope you guys really liked it. I hope it was really informative. Let me know again in the comment section below if you've tried this product before or you're thinking about trying it. Or let me know if there's other brow products out there that I should be trying or reviewing. I would love to hear. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.